The next morning, Pooh and his friends all woke up and got ready for the day. It was going to be a fun day at Universal Studios. As they all woke up and did their hygiene, they were all excited about exploring Universal Studios theme park. Once they all exited out of their hotel rooms, they met up with the rest of their friends. How did everyone sleep? Kanga asked. We felt well. Only Tigger was up till two in the morning watching TV, Rabbit answered. Well, it couldn't help it. I wanted to watch Beavis and Butthead, Tigger said to Rabbit. At least we all got a great sleep. I got tickets for us to enter Universal Studios. Christopher Robin said, holding his friends their tickets. Keep those tickets safe and don't lose them in the park. They will gain us access to the park. This park better have small and nice rides, Piglet said, as he, along with his friends, started to head it down the stairs to get to the lobby. I'm sure they have those, Piglet. Every theme park does. Pooh reassured his friends as they exited out of the hotel's lobby and took the route to get to the theme park. When Pooh and his friends got to the front of the arc of the Universal Studios, they saw how big the archway is. This archway? I say it's big, Owl commented. That's the entrance? Rabbit asked. It sure looks like it, Kanga answered. Now, we all need to be in small groups of two, but we'll meet up at a restaurant that I will soon show you when we go in, Christopher Robin said. I will go with Pooh, Piglet and Rabbit will be together, Owl and Eeyore are pair as buddies, Lumpy and Kanga will be also a pair, and Rue, you will be partnered with Tigger. That arrangement, I am fine with that, but be careful, Rue, Kanga said. He'll be fine, Mrs. Kanga. He's with T-I double gu er That spells Tigger. Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Tigger replied as Pooh and his friends, with their partners, walked inside the theme park to have a look around. I believe they also have a water park, Rabbit said. We could find one if you want, Piglet suggested. That to Rabbit, who he liked the idea. They all went inside the Simpsons section of the park, then headed inside a food court called the Krusty's Burgers. Or Krusty Burger. You see, we're in a restaurant that is Simpsons themed? Christopher Robin asked. Yes, I do. But it isn't lunchtime yet, Pooh stated. And we just had breakfast at the hotel. The point of this location is simple. We all have to eat meet up with Space Voyager 1701 around 12.30 p.m. He will give us the money as well as our meeting place. This way we can make sure that everyone meets up at a certain time. If you and your partner ever get separated, come to here and a security guard will help you find your missing partner. Christopher Robin explained. That is a good idea. A mean place in case if we ever were to get lost. Eeyore commented. Even though I thought New York City was huge, this is just as big as New York City. You have what you need? Owl asked. We do, Owl. Everyone complied. Excellent. Now everyone stay with your partner and do not go off on your own. Christopher Robin said, as two by two, Pooh and his friends and buddies left the restaurant to explore the park. Everyone went on the rides in different order. Piglet, on the other hand, and Rabbit rode a quiet rides and even some crazy ones. Everyone did the same as they got to pick and choose what rides to go on first. The first ride that Tigger and Roo went on together was the Doctor Doom's Fearfall. They were laughing and screaming while on the ride. However, after the ride, Tigger was wobbling while Rue got off without feeling any different. You okay, Tigger? That ride was so much fun, Rue said, as Tigger straightened himself after walking away from the ride. It was so much fun, but it makes my legs feel like jelly, Tigger replied. I know what ride we could both go on next. Let's go on to Jurassic World Velocicoaster. Yeah, that ride looks like fun. Let's get in line, Rue said, as he and Tigger headed for the Jurassic World Velocicoaster. While on the line, Piglet and Rabbit were also getting on the same ride as they were. Rue and Tigger got to the front row seats, as Piglet and Rabbit were behind them. Once they sat down, they waited for the other people to get on the ride. Hey, Walniers, how are the rides? Tigger asked. It's going well. Piglet and I rode the Revenge of the Mummy ride. Piglet was a bit nervous, but he enjoyed the ride that, that he's never been on before, Rabbit explained. This ride does look is the one that Piglet 
let's get scared of. Rabbit chose to go on this one. What r- r- ride did you go on with Rue? Piglet asked. We went on the Doctor Doom's Fearfall. It was a lot of fun, and I chose that one, Rue answered. As the safety bars were lowered and the staff checked to make sure everyone was on safely secured. As the ride started, it bolted at full speed at the start of the ride. Piglet yelped as he wasn't expecting the ride to start fast. But Tigger and Rue both laughed as the ride got to a fast start. Piglet was screaming during the ride while everyone else did the same. When the roller coaster got to a high edge for a second, Piglet closed his eyes in fear. After riding the Jurassic World Veloso coaster, they all were a bit dizzy from the being upside down a couple of times on the ride. Piglet opened his eyes when the ride had stopped, knowing that it was over. That ride was scary, Piglet commented. Let's go on the Simpsons ride. I heard that's a lot of fun, Rue suggested. Well, that ride was what I was just thinking of, Rabbit said, as he, Piglet, and Tigger followed Rue towards the next ride, which it happened to be the Simpsons ride. The rest of their friends were heading for the same ride as well, and they were all in line at the same time. Pooh said that he almost got sick from one of the roller coasters that he rode, but that was because he ate honey before going on the ride. When it was their turn to ride the Simpsons ride, they all, all enjoyed that ride. Piglet and even Eeyore even liked it as well, since it was, it was Simpsons themed. After all, who doesn't like the Simpsons? After the Simpsons ride, it was around 11.45 a.m., and they still had some time left before meeting with Space Voyager at lunchtime. I think I can, we can squeeze in a few more rides before lunch. Let's go on the Jaws ride. Tigger suggested. The Jaws ride? You mean that sh- 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 shark? Piglet stuttered. Yes, but the shark isn't real. It's only mechanical, Christopher Robin reassured Piglet as they headed over towards the Jaws ride. Meanwhile, in the spaceship parked near Krusty Burgers, Space Voyager was making sure everything was ready for when he had to meet up with Pooh and his friends. He didn't expect Shigo to walk in his spaceship, to which it surprised him. Shigo, did you give him the money in New York City? Space Voyager asked. Yes, I did. Professor Dementor is still in Las Vegas. Kim and Ron will meet us there, and it is still coming together nicely. So what time are you meeting Pooh and his friends? Shigo asked. 12.30 is where I'm meeting them for lunch. The location is at Krusty Burgers in the Simpsons section of the park. Space Voyager answered. Well, before we see them, Space Voyager, I need some relief. Shigo smirked seductively. What do you mean by that? Space Voyager asked dumbfounded. Then Shigo whispered something in his ear that made his jaw drop. You do? Well, I guess we can squeeze that in before lunch. That's a good boy. After all, I was close to roasting Tigger's tail for wanting to take photos of me in the shower. (laughs) Shigo chuckled as she pulled Space Voyager into her in the shower, where they began to have their steamy session fun. On the Jaws ride, it was finally Pooh and his friends' turn to aboard the ride. Everyone took their seats as Tigger sat with Rue and Pooh. The ride soon got started to leave the station as the ride began, during the ride as if Pooh and his friends felt as if they were in a Jaws movie. At some point during the ride, Jaws came out in surprise and everyone on the boat. Soon, he and his friends were all scared by his surprise, but Piglet, on the other hand, hid underneath Pooh's shirt. That shark is huge like in the movie, Rue said. Yeah, and scarier up close too, Tigger added. Yeah, but I knew he wasn't real, Piglet commented, while coming out of Pooh's shirt to which he was hiding in. The ride's almost over, and after that, we have to meet up with Space Voyager at Krusty Burger Restaurant, Christopher Robin stated, as the ride continued for another few minutes. After the Jaws ride was over, Pooh and his friends all got out of the ride and headed for the Krusty Burger. Upon entering the Krusty Burger restaurant, they headed for the bathroom to wash their hands. As Pooh and Tigger were the first ones out of the bathroom, Tigger looked at the Krusty the Clown statue outside. Man, I wish Krusty was real. I want to see a one-on-one battle with him at Pennywise, Tigger stated. Tigger, if that were to happen, Pennywise would win since he's a shape-shifting clown, Pooh said. To which Pooh did have a point, after all. As soon as the rest of their friends exited out of the bathroom, they saw Space Voyager with Shigo on a table that they put together. 
They headed for in the direction where they were in, and then they took their seats. Shigo, what are you doing here? Piglet asked. We thought you were already in Las Vegas. Rabbit added, confused at this. I just stopped here to see Space Voyager for a bit and to meet up with him on the plan to catch Professor Dementor. Shigo explained. Now that we are here, can we eat now? Tigger asked. Yes, I could go for a burger right now, Pooh added. We'll eat in a bit. Just gonna explain to you guys the plan, Shigo stated. After everyone sat down at the table, Shigo and Space Voyager all listened to Shigo about their plan to catch Professor Dementor. So this plan is for us to give you guys all the money, and that is what Professor Dementor is after. I know I have said it many times, but we cannot have him buy at that very expensive doomsday machine. It's the only way to prevent him from buying it, is to give it to you guys so he doesn't know. He thinks we have the money, but what he doesn't know is that you guys have it. Shigo explains to them their plan. So how are we going to catch him? Rue asked. That's when we follow him. Voyager along with me, Draken, Kim, and Ron will be on the chase to catch him. And when we track him down in Las Vegas, he'll be sent back to prison, Shigo answered. How do you track him down? Owl asked. Draken put a tracker on Professor Dementor. So he's fucked once he finds out that we have tracked him down. <laughs> Shigo then chuckled. It will be karma for him. I can definitely tell you that. Sure hope it go. the plan goes well, Lumpy commented. It will be, Lumpy. Believe me on this. No one is getting away from the best heroes on Earth, Shigo reassured him. I have a question before we eat. Do we have to give you guys the money back? Christopher Robin asked. I know we spent some in New York City, Middleton, and even here, and more money will be spent. I was just wondering. Just want to make sure if we owe you any money. No, that money is yours. There is plenty of more where that money comes from, Christopher Robin, Space Voyager said. I'm super rich as well as Dr. Draken, Shigo, Kim, and Ron. And after all, you guys are all helping keeping that money away from Professor Dementor. All right, I want to buy some stuff, Tigger stated. Let's go eat now. I'm pretty sure everyone's hungry, Space Voyager said, as he along with his friends got up and got in line at Krusty Burger, where they began to order lunch there. Tigger did order a lot of food, and so did everyone else. As everyone was eating lunch at Krusty Burger, Dr. Draken was hiding not far from the restaurant. He was making sure that his plan was going well, and it sure was to his surprise. With Pooh and his friends having the money and then keeping it away from Professor Dementor, or was working for sure. At first he had doubts that the plan would work, but with some confidence, he was for sure that the plan would go according to Space Voyager. After lunch, Pooh and his friends all went on on more rides at Universal Studios, to which they were all having a blast on them. Space Voyager transferred 30 grand to Christopher Robin, as that was his part of in the money keeping away plan from De Professor Dementor. After two days of being at the park, they rode the rides and even had fun, but that's when Wade called Christopher Robin. As he got on the phone with Wade, Wade had explained that their plane will head to Las Vegas at 1 p.m. from Orlando Airport. Unfortunately, Christopher Robin and his friends had to cut their vacation at Universal Studios short, as Space Voyager booked them right to their next location. They arrived at the airport at 11 a.m., and Pooh and his friends got in for lunch and the court to the, the airport. They had lunch there. So within an hour and a half, their plane for Las Vegas was now being aborted. So Pooh and his friends grabbed their stuff and then headed for the flight that they were on. Once on their plane, they all found their seats and buckled up their seatbelts. As soon as their plane took off at 1 p.m., Pooh and his friends were finally on their way to Las Vegas. We're heading to Las Vegas? Pooh Piglet asked. Yep, and the plane just left Colorado, Christopher for Robin stated. Also, Kanga had answered that as well. Now, remember this Las Vegas is a huge city, so there'll be lots of stores to see and stuff. Yeah, and I heard the crime there is pretty high, Piglet said nervously. The ride on the plane isn't that bad, Piglet. You just dislike the flight, Christopher Robin reassured him. As their plane flew to Las Vegas, Pooh and his friends were either coloring, reading, etc., they were pretty much at their seats doing their own thing and even strike up a convo every now and then with during the duration of the flight. Eventually, after four to five hours of the flight on the plane, Pooh and his friends arrived at the airport in Las Vegas. 
As they exited out of the plane and headed for the airport, they looked outside to see a limo driver checking with Christopher Robin. He drove him past the streets of Las Vegas, and it was around 3 p.m. in Las Vegas, so Pooh and his friends saw how huge the city was. I want to go to the stores there, Rabbit said, looking at the stores as they drove through Vegas. I want to gamble at the casinos and be rich, Tigger added. I'm still a kid, so I can't go in. Neither can Rue and Lumpy, Christopher Robin said to Tigger, but then he had an idea. If you and Rabbit want to go check out the casino, you guys can, but promise to stay together. That we will, Christopher Robin. I will keep Tigger in line and make sure he doesn't gamble all the money, Rabbit replied, while giving a stern glare at Tigger. Our hotel expenses are paid for, so once you get in the hotel, we will settle in first, Christopher Robin stated. As they arrived at the hotel named MGM, it was a huge hotel, so Pooh and his friends headed inside to check in. Once they checked in their rooms, Tigger and Rabbit were both checking out the TV. This TV has a Disney Channel, Rabbit said, watching a bit of Gravity Falls, to which it was a show that was being played on TV. Are you, Tigger, going to go to the casino? Pooh asked. I am, Pooh Bear. What about you, Piglet, and the others going to do? Rabbit replied while questioning Pooh. Well, we will have to check out some stores since, well... Rue, Lumpty, and Christopher Robin can't go gamble while under the age of 18. Where is it 21 here? Pooh wondered a question. That sounds swell. Hope you guys can catch Professor Dementor, Tigger said. And if you catch him, we will have him let to let Space Voyager and the others know, Eeyore added. We'll take Eeyore with us to the casino, Rabbit said, as he grabbed the stuff along with Tigger and Eeyore. We'll be fine, Rabbit. You and Tigger and Eeyore go and have fun. Rabbit said, We sure will have fun. Right, Eeyore and Lawn Ears? Tigger asks his two buddies. Yeah, but we will, Tigger. But promise to me you'll behave yourself. Rabbit said, Oh, I will behave myself. I am hoping to win a lot of money at the casino, Tigger said, while he, Rabbit, and Eeyore headed out of their room for the casino inside the hotel that they were staying at. <laughs> 